The River State Government on Sunday released the 22 workers of ExxonMobil who were arrested for allegedly violating the state executive order restricting movement in the state. The Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice River State, Professor Zacchius Adongo, said that the staff were released without charges. He also said the state government would no longer press charges against them. The state government announced this shortly after the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria asked its members to shut operations and all activities at the nation's oil rigs and export terminals from Sunday midnight. It also ordered its members to withdraw all forms of service services relating to crude oil production, refining, distribution and supplies. Pengerson said this was necessitated by the refusal of the River State Government to release detained staff of the offshore ExxonMobil staff since Thursday. And now we're joined by Tokumbo Korodo, an oil marketer and the chairman, United Labour Congress. Thank you very much for joining us. Can you hear me? Thank you for joining us. Yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, uh, quickly, welcome to the news, first of all. Quickly, what is your reaction to this seeming miscommunication? Uh, on the one hand, Pengerson is saying they're, they're, they're embarking on strikes starting tonight, and then just what they were agitating for, the River State government has granted. Well, to, to, to me, it's a very bad situation we normally find ourselves in this country. Any crisis between the state government and the federal government should not be involved. The, the workers should not be involved in it. It's just whereby we are doing the essential service to the nation. And the political crisis between the federal and state will not be placed on the workers, innocent ones. It is uncalled for. And that is the reason why the labor movement is not happy with the way and manner the river state government is handling issue of this COVID-19 uh, restriction movement, this movement. So if anything wants to happen, we know it is prerogative of the federal government to pass instruction to the oil and gas workers. And where we are doing the legislative job, we should not be uh, uh, blamed or be punished for it. Look at what happened on the, the pilot uh, of uh, this cover team airline they were just unnecessarily punished the innocent worker they have the clearance to do their legit job then why government whether i'm of, of the government whether state or federal they, they should put the plight of Nigerian workers into consideration. But it, it, let, me, let me quickly interject and ask you this question. Isn't it courtesy to let, especially when there's a lockdown in a state, the chief executive officer should have some sort of information that there are persons coming into his state, irrespective of what the federal allowance <clears throat> and directives are? I quite agree with you. But inefficiency on the part of government should not be, the blame should not be placed on on the doorstep of the workers. They are innocent. Who is going, who is going to compensate them for the kind of the harassment they pass through while doing the legit job? So if there is any kind between the federal and state government, they should sort it out among themselves. We should not be involved. Pengasin is, is a trade union organization, I believe. And um, for th this situation that has occurred, they made the decision to shut down the entire um, oil production uh, in the country. Is that right? When the situation was with um, uh, an occurrence in River State? See, you, what I'm saying is this. If River State government doesn't want anybody to move, then it is better they let us know, including and they must spell it out, including the oil workers, so that we call we, we, we withdraw all the service of the oil workers, so that any any uh, petroleum crisis in that state we should, we will not be blamed. But a situation where my federal government said all the essential services to continue working, and they gave clearance, everybody have their clearance of moving, even when tanker driver is passing through River State. Because with their clearance, they are still subjected to such harassment and humiliation. 
Okay, um, I, I still want you to react to the aspect where if the River State government hadn't brought back, I mean, rescinded their decision to go ahead and charge these um, uh, oil workers, the entire country would have been subjected to an unfortunate situation where the Pengasin is saying that they're going to halt all oil production. My question remains, should that decision be a, a for um, covering the entire country instead of the river states where the crisis is? See, see, see the, 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 the shutdown of any industrial labor union as process. Firstly, we are having issue with river state government. Firstly, we are going to tackle rivers first. We draw our services for, uh, on your river state. And after that, if that one is not getting the result for us, then there might be a sympathy, solidarity support from other states. So what Pegasus is saying is that they cannot fold their hands and allow rivers to humiliate 22 workers of the, who happen to be the members of Pegasus. So as a reliable organization, they must fight for the emancipation of, of their members. We they issue that threat. Even that threat, the, the same thing River State government did to the, the Pemberton pilots, they will still do it to that innocent workers too. And if they are convicted, they are going to be an ex-convict in this country. You know what that, does. that one means. Okay. Uh, a, 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 a stitch in time says nine. All right, let's look at other matters as affects the oil um, production uh, industry and marketing as well. In the face of the crash of uh, the price of crude oil on the global markets, the Nigerian government has cut down drastically on its daily production uh, of the commodity. What's your thought on this? Yes, we should expect this. We have been clamoring, we have been shouting, we have been on top of our voices over years that the, the kind of deregulation we are practicing in this country, that based on import driven, cannot give us the required result we need. And we should put more effort in local production. Now our oil, our crude oil is being rejected and nobody's buying. Do we have no option? And we, we place our budget on it. You can see the, can't, the aftermath of this COVID-19, only God knows. There's going to be a global uh, recession. So if governments will now want to do the needful, nothing should, uh, should tamper with the production level of our crude oil in Nigeria. And that is exactly what River State is dragging us into. Because most of the production is going on in rivers, and if the worker has no free mind to work or save in an environment where they work, you know the interpretation of it. All right. What has been the um, experience of oil marketers during the period of this uh, COVID-19 uh, lockdown? And what do you expect the government to do as regards helping to improve the plight of workers during this period? See, I can't speak for the oil market. But with the little knowledge I know about it, some of them are facing a lot of challenges. They are facing serious challenges in respect of patronage. Because since if everybody are in there, it has affected the level of their sales. And at the end of the month, they must pay the worker salary. They must pay the worker salary. So and this one is having to on the oil, uh, oil marketers. But what, and again, with the reduction in the price, some of them are paid in higher price. And when they want to get it out, it's at lower price. So whatever be the crisis they may face in between this payment and when their product is released to them, government should also talk with it and listen to it. Now, that is why the stakeholders are very key in, in the production, distribution, and supply. Everybody needs to be carried along when the decision is about to be taken. So that one, one sector will not be affected greatly. All right. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the news. God bless you, man. God bless you too. The news will continue after this very short break. Don't go away.